Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Hideous Thoughts here coming at you with another Black Desert online video for console. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a tier 8 Corsa horse completely free to play. This is something that is a hot topic for people who want to make horses in the game, especially for those free to play players who want to end up getting a dream horse like the Pegasus or the Diné or eventually the Doom when that comes to console. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, make sure that you stick around for the whole video because you're going to want to learn a lot of things about how you can make a tier 8 Corsa horse completely free to play. And of course, this video helps you out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel guys, and hit the bell button so you get notified when future videos go live. I appreciate all of you guys for watching, but let's get into the video. Okay, now there is a couple of rules that you're gonna need to follow when you are doing this method. We're going to go through them throughout the video, but it's really important that you guys stick to the rules Otherwise, this isn't going to work and you're going to end up having to spend some money uh, On buying pearls so that you can get your Corsa horse in the end All right guys, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a premium horse Appearance change coupon now basically what this does is this changes the coat of your horse so it changes It changes the appearance of your horse and it also does a couple extra things it can either give you a 70% chance to learn XP like a large amount of XP on your horse or it can give you a 30% chance to learn a new skill and that's important because it's basically like forcing your horse to either learn XP or learn a skill and this is really going to help you guys just get those extra skills towards the end so that you can get the courses the courses skills and make it that course of horse in the end. The other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need these mount skill change coupons. Now, this is the main pay to win item that a lot of people use. You, you buy pearls and you buy these in the pearl shop and you use these to swap out skills. And a lot of people can spend a lot of money just swapping skills, swapping skills, swapping skills, swapping skills until they get the skills that they want. I've seen people do it before and it can get very expensive. These ones here that I have have been given me to me completely free from the game through events and other daily rewards and things like that. Generally, when there's horse events in the game, they tend to give these out. So if you're a free-to-play player, just hang around until you get a bunch of these. And then when you've got some ready to go, you can just start loading up on your premium horse appearance change coupons and you can get this method done. And the other thing that you're going to need, guys, is you're going to need a tier eight, uh, tier 8 horse. So I've got a couple here. This is my tier 8 Corsa horse that I'm currently working on getting a dream horse with. I've got a, a, another uh, another tier 8 here that I'm making a Corsa. And then this one here is the one that we're going to be working on today. So if we come across here into the skills and we come to unlearn skills and I'll just click on anything, you can see that I've only got two skills left to learn. Now, with the appearance change coupons, it's really important to know that this does not allow you to learn S skills. Okay, so it says right here in the middle, excludes S hind kick, S fore chop, S instant acceleration, S sideways. In the case of two seater skill, only a few selected horses have a chance of learning it. So the purebred white horses cannot learn two seater. So if you, what that means, if you come back into the stable here and we'll come to the skills. Now we can see that this skill here to learn is S sideways. So the premium horse appearance change coupon will not learn this skill. And then it's got caution. So it has a 30% chance to learn caution. If this was another S skill like um, S instant acceleration, for example, you wouldn't be able to use the voucher because it would come up as you're only going to get experience from this and you can't learn an S skill. So what you would need to do in that situation is you would need to then swap out that skill. So you would come here and do this exact process. You would find a skill that you didn't want, for example, like hind kick and you would click on, um, you would click on the, the, the S skill. You would click on the S skill that you 
is your desired skill. That's the skill that you hopefully want to learn. And then you would uh, change the skill, or at least you would attempt to. If you fail, where it says skill change point plus one, this works kind of like a fail stack, and that'll build up and build up and build up until you finally eventually learn that skill. That's the pay to win method, and it can cost you a lot. What you would want to do if, if these were just two S skills is you would literally just swap out one of the skills until you ended up with a skill like you know a, a non S skill and then this allows you to use the premium voucher so it just it's kind of a loophole around getting around that two S skills there where you can't use the voucher anymore so what you would do now is you would come to change appearance you would select the appearance of the horse that you wanted to switch to and you would come down here and you can't really see because of this uh, Zaka notifications in the way but it says right there, it says premium horse appearance. Underneath this one that says change horse appearance, you want premium horse appearance. And you're going to click on that. And basically what this is going to do now is you can see here, it's got learnable skills, caution. So you have a 30% chance to learn a skill. And if you learn a skill, it's going to be 100% caution because it's the only skill that you can learn. But then it says your mount also has a 70% chance to gain a fixed amount of XP. So that's completely fine. So you know now how to use the appearance change coupon to swap out skills. But there is rules guys. And the most important rule is that you don't do this too early. You want to, you can see the level of this horse here. It's level 27. I started doing this around level 25 and that's because this horse was really, really amazing. And it learnt a lot of skills. I think by level 20, it already learnt 16 skills. So this is a really, really good horse. If you have another horse that's learnt less skills, you probably want to start this earlier. I would probably say start it around like maybe level 22, 23, if your horse hasn't learnt that many skills. just You just want to give yourself more time. You don't want to be starting at like 25, 26, and then you get to level 30. And then once you reach level 30, that's it. You can't, your horse can't learn any more skills. So, and at that point, and then at that point, if you haven't learned all of the skills, you are forced to use the mount skill exchange coupons until you can swap them out, swap them out, swap them out until you get all the course skills. And that's not what you want when you're doing the free to play method. So this might sound a little confusing guys, but it's pretty simple once you get your head around it. You don't want to start your horse too early because you want to give your horse enough time to naturally learn skills over time and if you if you were to start this at say level 5 all the way up from level 5 to 20 you know you're missing out on all that time when your horse could learn skills naturally and this is just going to end up costing you more money in the long run either silver from buying these premium exchange coupons or from buying having to buy pearls with the mount um the mount skill exchange coupons so you really don't want to start it too early but you don't want to start it too late either otherwise you're going to run out of room it really has to be kind of bang in the middle right perfect and just give yourself enough time so that your horse has learned all the skills naturally but then you have enough time to start forcing your horse to learn skills all the way up to level 30. all right so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this out and fingers crossed that we learn caution Okay, so we're going to come here and just quickly, actually, let's just quickly have a look at the XP that we've got. So we're sitting at around 405,000 and all right, we're going to swap out this skill now, change appearance right here and switch this out. So you can see the experience now is still at 405,000. We come here to unlearn skill, desired skill. We only have one skill left to learn. So now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to now swap out that skill for a piece of crap skill that I don't want. So I'm going to come back down to caution. I hate this skill with a passion. I'm going to come to the desired skill that I want. S sideways. It has a 100% chance to learn S sideways because when you are swapping skill, it's a straight swap. There's no RNG on switching skills. So this is the skill we're going to get. 
we're going to come down here we're going to press triangle or y if you're on xbox we're going to swap that out do you want to change caution into another skill yes i want to all right there we go now you can see top right corner you see where it says level 27 flash the horse symbol next to the sex symbol of the horse is now yellow that means it's a coarser horse so that is the method for making a free to play tier 8 coarser horse i didn't spend a single bit of real money or pearls on this horse it was completely free to play all i did guys was follow this strategy i leveled my horse naturally over time so it would learn the maximum amount of skills then when it got to a level that i was happy with i started using the premium horse appearance change coupons to force this horse to learn more skills once i got to the last two skills i used another premium horse appearance change coupon to swap out it learnt caution which was absolutely freaking amazing that left me with one skill left after that i used the mount skill exchange coupon to swap out a skill that i didn't want for that s skill that i did want and that gave me my tier 8 Corsa horse my last skill that i needed to make it a Corsa horse and now this horse is eligible to be uh once i get it to level 30 i can then start using this horse to go for a dream horse so there you go guys that is the method to make a tier 8 Corsa horse i really hope that this helped you just remember those three rules don't force your horse to learn skills too early level it naturally so that you can learn as many skills as possible without using any interference the premium horse appearance coupons cannot learn s skills so if you end up with two s skills you will need to swap out one of those skills which will give you an opportunity to then use the premium horse appearance change coupon and the last rule is your goal is to learn all the skills until you only have one skill left to learn from then on once you have that one skill left you can use the mount skill exchange coupon to swap out a skill that you don't want into the last available skill for your horse to learn and that'll give you your course of horse all right guys there you go super stoked that that worked and we got it on for the video i appreciate all of you guys for watching thank you so much uh, let me know in the comments below if this has helped you out otherwise i will see you in the next one